After performing an alignment in Megaline, you may wish to export your results as a histogram, chord alignment, or phylogenetic tree. In this video, I'll show you a few ways to do this using the Export to GenVision feature in Megaline. Before exporting to GenVision, you need to perform an alignment of your sequences in Megaline. In this example, I'll align these calmodulin protein sequences using the Clustal W method. Then to export, I'll go to File, Export as GenVision Project. And here I'm presented with a dialog that gives me a few options to customize the export. We'll look at a few of these, but to start, I'll use the histogram alignment. So click Export, and then choose a place to save your file and name your file. I can then open the exported file in GenVision by double-clicking the exported.gnv file. And then I'll click Run GenVision to see a PDF of the GenVision map. And by default, the alignment is presented as a circular map, where each ring of the circle corresponds to one of my sequences. And this outermost histogram shows percent similarity across all the sequences, with regions that are 100% identical shown in green. Another way to export the alignment is by creating what's called a chord alignment. To do this, go back to Megaline and again select File, Export as GenVision Project. Now choose Chord Alignment. And here I'm going to leave the highlight region settings at their defaults, but I am going to check Show Phylogenetic Tree. And we'll leave the option to root outside. And then click Export. And for the Chord Alignment, Megaline is going to create one .gnv file for each of my sequences. So it's a good idea to set up a folder specifically for this purpose. And once the export's complete, you'll see I have 14 .gnv files corresponding to my 14 sequences. And if we open the first one, we can see another representation of the alignment. This file shows the alignment of each sequence to black mold calmodulin. And you'll notice that in the GenVision window, the export settings we used are repeated. So we have a minimum length of 15 and a minimum match percentage of 50. So what that means in our image is that we'll see a solid bar on this inner ring for each region of 15 amino acids or more that matches the black mold sequence in at least half of the positions. And then we have a single cord going from each of those regions back to the black mold sequence. So this red bread mold sequence we can see is very similar with one similar region covering the majority of the sequence. Whereas the human sequence has lots of smaller regions of similarity to the black mold calmodulin sequence. I'm going to show you one more export using the phylogenetic tree. So we'll go back to Megaline and then choose file, export as GenVision projects and choose chord alignment again. I'm going to uncheck highlight regions and check phylogenetic tree and then select Root Inside and click Export. And again, this is going to create 14 files, so I'm going to use the folder I previously set up for this. And then I'm going to open the GenVision file. And here I'm going to hide the sequence histogram and chords by selecting them and then choosing Hide Show. And because that decreased the relative sizes, I'm going to also change the relative size of my text labels so they're not too big. And then click Run GenVision. And then we can see that gives us a nice, simple phylogenetic tree. If you have questions about exporting an alignment to GenVision, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website, dnastar.com, or contact us at support at dnastar.com.